I've got some important news. So if you are a current gas engineer, or you are looking to get into the gas industry, well, I've got some news for you. So my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training, so let's get on with it and find out what this important news is. So this important news is all about the changes to IGE IG1 Guidance Note 8. Some of you will be going, what's that then? So this little chart here, which is Table 2 of IGE IG1, tells ACS centres exactly what training and whether engineers require portfolio when they are coming into the industry or whether they're changing their scope. If you ever wondered what ACS stood for, it stands for Nationally Accreditation Certification Scheme for Gas. Now we had major revisions way back in October the 1st, 2018 on IGE IG1 where it basically said if you were a new entrant into the industry and you wanted to extend your range, i.e. you just did boilers at a training centre and you wanted to add fires and cookers, then you had to be gas safe registered and you have had to be working in the trade for more than six months. Then you would have to do more on a portfolio, more training, and then come in for assessment. Well, that's been massively changed. So, from the 1st of June this year, 2022, these new revisions to IGE IG1 will come into force. Where basically it says now, if you have just completed a managed learning programme, and at your training centre you only did boilers, if you wanted to add on to your scope, so say again you want to put cookers and fires in there, this time you will need to be gas safe registered and be qualified for more than 12 months. So that's the big changes for that. The other thing is if you are a registered gas engineer now and you've been in the trade a long time and you want to extend your scope, that means you want to go from natural gas to LPG, or from domestic to commercial, you will now have to do training, where before you didn't have to do specific training. You might also have to do a portfolio if there isn't any documentary evidence to prove that you've been working in those sectors. Now, when it comes to your ACS revision, if you are a current gas engineer, that's changed a little bit, but for the better for you. It's been cut down to three days now, so you can have a day's training, which is optional, so technically you don't need training, and it's a day on exams and a day on practical. So technically you could cut this down to two days, where most training centres looked at doing two days training and three days for your assessment. So that's changed. So these are the major changes we've got now to table two of IGE, IG1, which will help us to be able to comply with the Gas Safety Installation and Use Regulations 1998, which was amended in 2018, paragraph 3, which is all about specific training. Now, if you are looking to do an MLP or a managed learning program and come into the gas industry, just be wary of these things now. So when you're going for your interview at a training centre and they can tell you you can become gas safe registered in eight weeks, I'd be very, very wary of that centre because it will take you a hell of a lot longer than that to become a gas engineer. And if that training centre is only offering you boilers, bear in mind you cannot extend your range until you've been gas safe registered and you've been qualified for 12 months. So when training centres are telling you it's going to take you 12 to 18 months to complete and you're doing boilers, cookers and fires, then that's what it's going to take you. Also, your portfolio is a massive thing as well. The portfolio is the thing that takes the longest time. The training, you can do that in six, eight weeks, but actually your portfolio, where you're on site working with a gas safe registered engineer, is the thing what's going to take the time. So, Things to think about if you are looking to come into the gas industry and become a gas safe registered engineer. Now, if you are already a qualified gas engineer and you're looking to do your reassessment, 
you will need to bring your current ACS certificate with you. Not your gas safe card, that's no good to us. We need your current ACS certificate, which was issued by your certification body. Also, you're gonna to need to bring two passport pictures and your national insurance number. Now, you can actually do your ACS six months early. If you do six months and three days, or six months and one day, then you actually lose those six months. So it's a bit like your car MOT. So you have up to six months to book in. And it takes about six weeks for your paperwork to be processed. So just be wary of that. And remember, it's not your gas safe card, it's your certificate. And also, we get a lot of phone calls from guys wanting to book in, and it's their actual gas safe that's run out, not their ACS. So make sure you keep hold of your certificate and you know exactly when your ACS expires. Now hopefully this short video has cleared up a few questions you may have, whether you are an initial guy coming into the industry or you're a reassessment guy. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one guys. Cheers.